Hi guys, I'm Zazie, and today I'm going to be doing a review on some items I got from Mini Katana. So, the two things I got, actually I got four things, but two of the things I got for my friend as a gift. I got uh, a Rengoku sword and a uh, Mini Dark Repulsor, Mini Katana for my friend for uh, his birthday and Christmas separately. And then I bought this regular Mini Katana. This one right here is, uh, this was $36.99. And I have the mini katana. This is a Shisui blade that Zora has in one piece. It's really cool. This one's like a a mail opener. So so this one's fifteen ninety nine. This is thirty six ninety nine. So we're about to go see. Honestly, I think the price is worth it. I like the quality of the blades. So this one right here is blunted, right? But it's still it can still cut. So you could use this to cut like mail or something. I don't know if I have anything. That I could cut. Let me see. Let me see, for example. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Cool. I got a card. We'll use this card for comparison, right? So this is the blade. This is this is the this is the card right here. So. No, no, it didn't show on camera. Let me. So this, even though it's blunted, it's still sharp. Like right here, can't hurt yourself with the back of the blade. This part, it could still be used as a envelope cutter. So yeah, cut that through. So yep, this one's cool. So it comes with this uh stand right here it allows you to put the katana on display Let's go ahead and open that up real quick hopefully I can set this up properly it's, there's like instructions I think on the website but I think it should be fairly simple I just need to I think it's like this I don't know how long. I think it's the other way around there you go so and you put it this way right hopefully I'm doing this right Cause this should be holding kind of like this. Okay, I don't know why I was having such a slow moment like that, but it should be holding it like this. Is that and we have the she sweet blade Pop this open up I just if I just realized how to cut this one up go ahead and open this so this one's got more pieces so it's a little bit more complicated but let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can get this to set up. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So this one it has like little pieces to insert. Let me make sure I get this right. 
Alright, so this is one side. And this is the other. Okay, I think oh, this gotta be wrong. This should, should it be facing opposite direction. Okay, this should be facing the same direction. And this part right here, I, don't, I honestly don't know what this part's for. Let's see. Take the sheets we out the lid. Another cool thing with this is that I can literally you can press the button and it'll, it'll pop the blade out, which is pretty cool. Let's see if I can remember where the button's at. So there's a button right here. Yeah, focus this right here. Alright, so if I press this button, it really pops the blade out. So, boom. So, like, it's literally locked in place. If I don't press the button, it's not going to come out like that. Anyway, that's pretty cool. And then it's got the little tassel. So, I guess there's two ways I could do this. I could put this in the keychain, but I feel like the smart thing to do is to put it through the loop at the end of the sword right here. Then put this through the loop. I just gotta, uh, this is gonna be kind of messy. Hold on. But now I got it like that. So the tassel's at the end of the sword. And now I just gotta we put this here. I guess there's some ways I could literally put this. I could put it from the top up like that. Or I could put it like flip it. Do it like this. What do you guys think? Like this? I'm trying to figure out what, what this part's for. Oh, okay. This part goes in between the section at the bottom. So it should be like... Oh. I might have done that a little too aggressive. I will go ahead and put this in right here. So this is all like me opening this up for the first time, so don't get too upset at me. Have some patience, because I'm literally trying not to break anything, but I'm just a little too strong. So unfortunately, I'll be breaking stuff all the time without trying, so. We're really trying to do this right. Took a little, little bit of, a little bit of practice, but I got it. I was trying so hard not to break it, because when you work out too much, it's kind of hard to gauge your strength for things of this size. So let me go ahead and put this right here, and then have the camera focus on it. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like up on my display. So I got Shisui right here. And then the other katana and then I have this one piece poster and as you can see it's uh, Zoro, Luffy and then Sanji the top three strongest members in the Straw Hat crew so very fitting that I have Zoro's sword right here or one of the three swords that he owns and yeah so now it's my little display section looking a little cool right now I'll organize a little bit more 
but for now just so you guys can have a good visual on the stands it's last display for the mini katanas looks pretty cool definitely be buying more stuff for mini katana in the future they have larger mini katanas that are like basically half the size of a katana they have the non-blunted ones and then they have the full size for like cosplay so if you can get a sharp you can have it blunted so that way you can actually take it to conventions and not hurt anybody which is pretty cool so I'll definitely go ahead and check out minikatana.com uh, yeah so it's www.minikatana.com if you use the code minikatanaclub you'll get 50% off your order so definitely go ahead and take advantage of that so yeah I'm out peace